is so beautiful, Reverend Mother. May I call you that? Oh, you can call me whatever you choose. My religious name is Sister Mary Ann, after our Blessed Mother and her mother, St. Anne. Reverend Mother, Blessed Mary, St. Anne. <laughs> yes, it's a mouthful. Reverend Mother's fine. Ah, I was just about to apologize for the flowers being gone. <sighs> Fall is approaching fast. In the spring it'll be beautiful again, though, with new life. Well, it certainly is nice even now. Tell me, dear, what is your deepest desire? Oh, well, that's easy, to be happy. <laughs> that is what the Lord desires for all of us, but what is happiness? Uh, to be free of worry, to be content, satisfied with life. Good, good. How's that working out for you? Not very well. That's why I'm here. Out there, all men are concerned about as if a woman is beautiful. I've always thought that if you're good and true, you are beautiful. See, now that's what I'm talking about. So you think you're going to find happiness here? Well, you all seem very self-assured. You have a purpose, and you seem happy with who you are. I can assure you we're not very happy with ourselves. Wait a minute. What do you mean? We have friends in high places. They make us smile. Ugh. Well, I hope you don't mean men. That would not make me happy. What about religious men? Oh, you mean the Pope. He tells jokes? Oh, no. Although, he may tell jokes. I don't know. We smile a lot because we pray a lot to the saints in heaven and God our Father. Tell me about your prayer life. Well, I, uh... I don't do it naked on a horse. <laughs> what? Sorry, I I heard that Lady Godiva prayed her rosary as she rode through the village streets naked to protest her husband's high taxes. I wasn't there, so I don't know. But yes. Yes. She made for herself an expensive rosary of valuable jewels. And when she died, she gifted that rosary to some monks to help pay for their monastery. Okay, I don't pray the rosary. I do pray. A little. Praying the rosary just seems so boring and meaningless, just saying the same thing over and over again. Do you think about the mysteries? The what? When we pray, we travel back in time. We close our eyes and say the Hail Mary, and we try to imagine ourselves in a scene with Jesus, like at the wedding feast at Cana, where he changed the water into wine for the guests. Imagine what that would have been like. <laughs> oh, here, let's have a seat. Well, I can imagine a lot of people were getting drunk. I bet Jesus was sorry he did that. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, I can pray around the world in less than five minutes. Want to hear? Oh, no, no, that won't be necessary. As sisters, which you want to be, we pray the rosary privately. Not just once, but three times a day. And that doesn't include our communal prayer. One hour in the morning before breakfast, one hour at mid-afternoon, and one hour before bedtime. And then we get up at 2 a.m. in the morning and we pray another hour. That's why we're so happy. That's like more than five hours of prayer a day. That makes you happy? That put me to sleep. Oh, it's sublime spending that time with the Lord and the saints in heaven and praying for people who need help. Oh, I just wouldn't pray for Tom if it was up to me. Tom? The guy who peaked when naked Lady Godiva was riding through the village streets? Oh, yes, peeping Tom. <laughs> Seems like he might not have gone blind had he been, been praying the rosary, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the horses we have here are for plowing, not riding, and if you do go into town, clothes are mandatory. <sighs> okay, good. Wow, what is that? Oh, that's nothing. It's just Sister Pauline's jackhammer class. She's teaching the novices how to break up concrete. Why are they learning that? Who else is going to do it? Or at Labora, we say, in addition to prayer, we do all the labor. Really? Of course. Mm. Oh, 
Don't you just love that fragrance? Yes. What is that? Doesn't that smell marvelous? No. What is that? Once a week, the novices form a detail, take the shovels out to the pasture, and muck the horse manure out of the run-ins. We compost it and spread it on our vegetable gardens. You put horse manure on your vegetable gardens? Uh-huh. Who else is going to do it? There's no men here. Hmm. That's good. <laughs> Annalise, our patron saint is Saint Joseph. Do you know who he was? Uh, Jesus' father. His stepfather, actually. Oh. <laughs> but we like to think of Saint Joseph as a common carpenter, a laborer, a worker who gets things done. Well, I like to do things. Good. Do you do windows? Like, open them? Uh, no. Clean them. Well, isn't that what rain's for? <laughs> Perhaps. If it rains. How do you clean your floors? <laughs> I wear slippers. Aren't you industrious? Mm. So, what do the sisters do on their day off? Day off? I'm not familiar with that concept. Is there an eighth day of the week I've missed? <laughs> you don't even get Sundays off? Oh, that's when we're the busiest. So many people come on Sunday that we get to sleep in on Monday. We don't have to get up until 4.30 a.m. Oh. I think Ben Franklin said it best. He wasn't a saint, was he? Of course not. He said, diligence is the mother of good luck. That's what I need. Diligence? No, good luck. Hmm. Well, you're more than welcome to come stay with us for a while, see if our way of life suits you. Are you familiar with the big three? Ford, GM, and Chrysler? <laughs> no, 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 no. Poverty, chastity, and obedience. Every member of a religious order promises to give up worldly possessions, stay sexually chaste, and obey their superiors. That last one is hard for the ladies that come to us. I'm a taskmaster. We do the windows once a month, and we scrub the floors every third day. Don't you have custodians to do that, so you don't have to? Oh, dear. Oh, I don't have to do it. No, 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 dear me, not me. That's what you're for. Oh. So, when do you want to come and stay with us for a while? Be sure to watch more webisodes at AnnaliseTheMovie.com and look for our crowdfunding campaign to support the movie some hotshot Hollywood producer is making about me. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. He's a guy. Great. Okay. Okay. We're done. Cool. It's a wrap. It's a wrap.